What a difference a decade makes. Ten years ago, in March 2009, the equity markets hit bottom after the financial panic that was triggered in September of 2008 by the very messy bankruptcy of Lehman Brothers and the bailout of AIG. The low point for the S&P 500 was 676, and 10 years later, the market has risen some 300% in climbing. Similarly, for the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the low point was 6,547, and a decade later, the Dow is in the 25,000 to 26,000 range. It's been a very durable equity bull market. Part of the reason for the durability was the extent of the sell-off and depth of the recession. Starting points matter, and this bull market commenced from a very low point indeed. After a decade, though, many analysts' thoughts have turned to when the bull market might end. Our perspective is that bull markets, and economic expansions for that matter, bull markets do not die of old age. They often end due to the unintended consequences of well-intentioned policies. A common cause for the end of bull markets comes about a year or two after the Federal Reserve raises rates high enough to flatten the yield curve. That's what happened in 2018, and 2019 has been a tough year for equities. This time around, there's a compounding factor, namely the U.S.-initiated trade war with the imposition of penalty tariffs. The goal was to use tariffs as a stick to get to a world of freer trade and lower tariffs. Unfortunately, the subsequent tit-for-tat tariff battle has hit both China and the U.S., with their economies and markets not doing well and much worse than was anticipated by either side. The unintended impact has come from the uncertainty the tariffs have caused and the resulting loss of business confidence and delaying of investment plans. Are these two forces likely to end the bull market? Well, they have certainly stalled the bull market. Equity markets are already seeing evidence of a slower growing economy and much slower corporate earnings growth. However, the Fed has already halted its program of rising rates. And if we see any relief on the tariff front, that might be enough to dodge the bullets that have already been fired. Time will tell if the bull market can get going again. I'm Blue Putnam, Chief Economist, CME Group.